All right, guys. It's your boy Bob coming back to you again with another message of peace. I salute you as always in the name of peace. But before all, let's thank the Almighty for allowing us to be alive another day. Let's thank Him for peace. Let's thank Him for wealth. Let's thank Him for health. Let's thank Him for prosperity in our lives. But above all, let's thank Him for love. Amen. You know, I wanted to ask a question, right? And the question is this, right? Why do people change their faith or their religion? For example, right? You see a Muslim converting to Christianity or you see a Christian converting to Muslim, to Islam. Or you see a Jew converting to Christianity or you see a Christian converting to Judaism, vice versa. But one thing is for sure, when a person changes their faith most of the time, their actions and character and their characters and conduct still remain the same. Because a lot of times when we see people changing, right? Let's say a Christian become a Muslim. A lot of time what you are stopping is you are stopping to drink. You stop to eat pork, so on and so forth. But most of the time, we do not talk about attitudes toward other human beings. The jealousy you have, the envy you have, the hatred you have, the way you go about life is still the same. So what would be the difference to move from another religion to another. When you were a Muslim, for instance, you were drinking or you were not drinking. You were eating pork or you were not eating pork because we have some people that are not Muslims but they do not eat pork, they do not drink. But do you do clubbing? Do you do strippers? Do you watch porn? Do you fight with others? Do you envy others? Do you hate others? How do you treat other people? When you are mad or angry, how do you react? When things do not go your way, how do you react? When someone says something bad about you, how do you react? Are you self-aware? Are you self-conscious? Are you aware of your surrounding? Are you developing a higher conscience? Are you growing spiritually as you grow old? Are you giving and helping hand to others? Are you forgiving? Are you someone that let go easily? Those are the things that make you human being. To change your religion without focusing on the other ones, I don't think it's really helpful. I don't even really think it is necessary in that instance to move from another faith to another faith. Because even look at Muslims, right? Or Christian or any religions. We are more focused on rituals, praying, fasting, we are more focused on those things. But we are not focused on our inner self. Understanding ourselves, understanding our emotions, understanding our moods, understanding what makes us itch, what makes us angry, what makes us hateful or jealous. We do not look onto those. We are only focused on being a Muslim or being a Christian or being a Jew. Therefore, all our lives are the same way we have been taught based on our faith or what religion we belong to. But ourselves, we do not do self-study. We do not study ourselves to truly understand ourselves. 
And I believe truly, if every single person do this job, focus on the inner self, there will be peace among religions and among human beings. Because that's the purpose of all religion. To coexist peacefully on this planet that we are all sharing together with animals, with trees, with insects, so on and so forth. Therefore, the main priority of all of us is to rise higher and help others rise higher by being also a role model to those people that we interact. By saying that, I would say, the way you live among people, a way that when you're not there, they are going to miss you. This is fundamental for all of us to coexist on this planet. Without that, whether you become Muslim, whether you become a Christian, whether you become anything else, the only thing you are doing is you are changing your label. Yesterday, you were red. Today, you are yellow. You are just changing the colors. But the inside remains as it was since day one. Wallow. Well,